guys, it's your boy Nobly from Sweden, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to avoid losing your CS skins to scams. Now, it's been just over a year since I made my last video about scams, and this last video was mostly focused around API scams, but since then, Valve have taken action and made API scams way harder, which is good, but it also means that some new methods of scamming have taken its place. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to keep your skins safe and avoid all of the new and old CS2 scams. But before that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Skinport! Now, if you don't know what Skinport is, there is CS2 marketplace where you can buy and sell your CS2 skins safely for real money. And on Skinport, there's no fee for buying skins. So say you wanted to buy this Bayonet Tiger Tooth on Skinport, it's listed right now for 450 euro. Meanwhile, on Steam, it would cost you almost 600 euro, which is a very big difference. They have over 1.6 million CS2 skins listed, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And if you sell skins, your payouts are also sent in your local currency with many countries supported. So, if you want to try out Skinport to buy and sell skins, then please do so from the link in the description, and thank you once again for sponsoring this video. Number one, the QR code hack. Now, the first type of scam is the QR code hack or scam, which has become pretty common recently. And some pretty big people have fallen victim to this, like this guy who lost an AK-661. This skin alone is like $60,000. And he lost his whole inventory due to the QR code hack. And you can see himself say that he probably logged into a fake market using a QR code. And the way this scam works is, you know, whenever you log into Steam on a web website or anything like that, you have the option to use a QR code to log in. However, if the website you're trying to log into is not legit, then they can steal, from my understanding, basically your whole account when you scan this QR code. But don't worry, this QR code in my video, it's safe. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure the QR code that you're scanning on the fake site isn't actually for you logging into Steam, you're actually authenticating the scammer to log into a session on your account. And at this point, when the scammer has access to your account, he'll start changing your Steam Authenticator and two-factor authentication. And I know this because I've seen some people fall victim to this scam and get a bunch of SMS or emails notifying them that they've changed their Steam Authenticator and that they have new login sessions from Russia. How to avoid the QR code hack? Well, it's really simple. Only use the QR code to log in when you know that the website is safe and legit. And how do you know that the site is safe and legit? Well, more on that in the next type of scam. Number two, the phishing scam. A phishing phishing scam is where the scammer makes a website, perhaps impersonating a real or a completely new one that looks legit and tries to steal your login information. Exactly how this guy lost his whole inventory. To avoid this scam, you just have to make sure that every site you go to is the real website you're trying to access and of course that the website is legit. And there's actually a really easy way to double check if the site is legit or not. To do this, you just go to the Steam website and see if you're logged in and as you can see, I am obviously logged into Steam on my browser, and when I'm logged into Steam and I'm trying to access a legit website like Skinport, you can see that when I click log in, it opens a pop-up window with my account and a button saying sign in. As you can see, the pop-up window is fully movable and works like any window in Windows. However, with a phishing site, when you click log in, you will see that the pop-up window is telling me to input my username and password. A legitimate website would never act like this because you're already signed into Steam. Steam. There's no need to sign in again. Another crazy detail I've noticed on some phishing sites is that the pop-up window is not actually a pop-up window. If we try moving the scam pop-up window outside of the frame of the web browser, it actually disappears. This is because it's not actually a real pop-up window, rather a fake pop-up inside of the phishing website to make it look legit. You can see, real login window, it's an actual window. I can move it wherever I want. Fake phishing site pop-up window, you can't move it wherever you want because it doesn't actually exist. How to avoid the phishing scam? Number one, make sure you're always accessing a legit website. Number two, never click random links that someone sends you. Number three, to stay ultra safe, whenever you're accessing a website, just copy the last part of the URL. That way, even if the link would say stamcommunity.com instead of steamcommunity.com, you're safe because you're using your old saved URL and just pasting the last part of the URL. And finally, 
number four, just use common sense. Now, I want you watching this video to take a second to pause the video and leave a like. Well, if you just did that, you may be pretty gullible and a potential victim of the third type of scam, number three, the social engineering scam. <laughs> A social engineering type of scam can be a bunch of different scenarios, such as your friend sending you a sketchy link saying he wants you to be the last player in some CS tournament they're playing tomorrow. It could also be something like someone pretending to be an official Steam representative needing you to log into a website to verify or validate your skins. Now, I've seen this type of scam firsthand when my friend and fellow fat YouTuber Furious got hacked, but I guess when he got hacked, the hackers couldn't access his his skins, only his account, and via Steam chat, they tried to convince him that his account was locked by Steam and he needed to send a trade to validate his skins. Since they had access to his account, they started removing games from his Steam account and they sold some cheap skins that didn't require Steam Authenticator on the Steam market and even changed his name and profile picture to convince him that it was real. When I heard of this, I told him instantly that it's obviously a scam and that he should, under no circumstances, send any trades or listen to what the guy was telling him, just make a real Steam support ticket. And after he did that, he got his account back and didn't really end up losing anything. Falling for a scam like this might seem pretty hard because of the examples I've given here are obvious. However, the people who are performing these scams are sometimes very convincing and really intimidating, so be careful. How to avoid the social engineering scam? To avoid this scam, just use internet common sense. Would a Steam employee really write to you over Steam chat? to verify your skins? No. Would someone invite your dog ass to play in a CS tournament when you're 3000 Premier Elo on a good day? Hell no! Number four, the iCloud hack. This type of hack is pretty hard to avoid if you don't know about it. What the hacker does is hack your iCloud account and use your saved iCloud backup for Steam to clone your login session to his own phone. Then I'm pretty sure the hacker has full access to your Steam Authenticator and can steal all your skins. How to avoid the iCloud hack? Hack. To avoid this hack, always use a unique password for your iCloud account that you don't use anywhere else, and always remember to go into your iCloud settings and turn off Steam backups. Wait, what the fuck is that app doing here, guys? <laughs> Number five, the self scam. Now, this isn't really a type of scam, but rather when you don't know the real value of your own skins. Whether you're an old player coming back to your inventory or a new player who unboxed something really rare, it's important to always make sure you you know the approximate real value of your skins, so you don't end up selling them for way too little. You can do this by just doing a bit of research on your skin and checking prices on different marketplaces. An example of this is a Swedish guy who came to me a few months ago with a bunch of Kato 14 stickers and wanted to sell them safely. He didn't really have any idea what they were worth, so I scammed him. <laughs> I'm kidding. He didn't. <laughs> He didn't really know what they were worth, so I priced them for him and ended up buying all of them from him, and he actually used the money to buy his own apartment. Very cool. And finally, number six, the API scam. I've explained this type of scam in great detail in my last anti-scam video, link in the description, but from my understanding, it's much easier to avoid this scam now, since if you change your name on Steam, you can't trade for two hours, and Valve have also heavily limited the use of an API key. However, I'm not sure if it's full fully exterminated, so it's good to know about this type of scam, so please check out that last video to fully understand it. And that's basically it. If you follow these steps, you will be a lot harder to scam, but not impossible, so always be careful about things that don't seem right, and act with caution. Thank you guys for watching this video, now I'm going to go hide in my basement, because scammers are probably sending hitmen to come get me. Oh, bam! Oh, Jesus, bro. Oh. Oh my fucking <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh!